Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another production vlog for the 300th episode of The Sergio Show. And uh, I'm just at this moment in production where I have another scene that I'm working on that I just kind of put together in editing just now that I'm really excited about. It's a scene where after one scene finishes, it begins another scene. And this scene is when evil Sergio is like, okay, I want to become a monster. I'm going to do my final form. And so far, it looks really nice. It's about a minute or so of footage. Maybe I might cut this out when I, when I bring it into the rest of the scenes of the episode in editing. But I'm just really excited how it's coming along. You know, after, after this, this event, we get to here. Like that, oh man. And yeah, he's just like he's tired. Okay, I'm stalling long enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna put this in my own hands. And uh, he's gonna take a pill and go. Oh, I'm gonna be a monster. Now I would just I just need to animate a couple of quick scenes of them setting up the the pill and him getting ready. But before I did these shots right here, I did specifically these shots here when he transforms into the monster because. It's going to take special effects, and I'm going to show you a couple of the shots, but it, all the, the shot, those shots later on in the episode right here took special effects, while this one was just like quick animation right here. Um, this one had to explore a couple of times in different frame rates to keep the, the pan to him in the ground smoothly. So yeah, he takes... This is where it gets tricky. So this arm is actually a reuse animation from an old episode, I think five years ago, where... He, when he also transformed, his hands were like that. But I wanted something a little bit more uh, interesting. So I was like, let me take that old clip of this arm that I animated before and just smooth it out, take it to the software Topaz Labs, and just export it, but uh, through a, a smoother framework, kind of have it come off a little bit more smooth. And that's what it did, and it actually looks kind of fun. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of a different spin. The background actually... Um, this is actually a white uh, chroma key background of the animation. I put in this dirt later and I composited it in. So yeah, this had to be white and, and keyed out for this. And as one whole shot. And then we get to this. Which all I did, um, as you can see, tentacles come out of the back. And uh, I just took one animation of a tentacle coming out. And just one, two, three, four, copy and paste. Not as effective within the animation software for that. Now this part, very simple, one tentacle, one key pose here, one key pose there, and that's fine. Originally I was going to try um, EB Synth for these two tentacle shots I'm going to show you, but it didn't come out right, so this one was a simple key frame, but this one was hand-drawn. This one was, whoop. And I tried Topaz Lab to see, but uh, it wouldn't track the, the tentacle holes, or whatever it is. So I was like, yeah, let me hand-draw this. And the, the way is just frame by frame. It's a simple effect. I just had to follow the tube and all that stuff. This one is also a special effect. One, There's one animation of this head shaking and one where his face is like this. I combine it together in a different editing software, Pinnacle Studio. I use the morph, uh, morph transition and uh, to, to make the, the face like still come off a little bit more monster than just... So you can see like this. Yep, that was a morph effect you shot, saw from Pinnacle Studio, just to like give it a little bit of an effect. Now for this next shot is a big one, real big one. Now for this shot here, what you're not seeing is that this right here, do do do, he's rising from the ground. He's rising from the ground like a beast. He's towering over everybody. Oh my gosh. This is like a big ass sandwich of special effects. Every background and thing you see is practically its own layer. Well, the Sergio monster is not only its own layer, but I even had to put that into a special effect because I wanted to come out, come out a little bit taller, so I had to do forced perspective, and to do forced perspective on a flat 2D character that I couldn't find out how to do an animation software. I went, uh, I think this editing software took the clip of him just going up, but use perspective tool to make it have it more like this, you know, like a little bit more of a perspective going upward. So it looks like it's taller than it is. And um, that I still had to like have that behind like a, a keyed out background and then export it again. But with the same keyed background to match the, the other ones kind of complicated. But 
ultimately I found a way to, to make this have a perspective and have um, the whole background keyed so that there was a pink background here keyed out. This portal right here is also um, its own layer. This background, the, this background goes from blue to uh, the evil background of Evil Toon City be through um, its own animation effect. I just used the animation effect. That's its own layer, so it's not a special effect. It's an animation effect, kind of, yeah. From its tra the way it transitions, you know. Didn't use any editing. That was just animation on the background from, from blue sky to evil. And um, I think this one also. Yeah, this one also. It's on its own animation effect though, where I had to time it. Because you see, it goes... To give it that effect that it's growing and it's getting really big, the little animation of itself, background keyed out. You see it goes lower. That's an effect I've, I've heard that was used kind of like in theme parks for this one theme park ride to make things look like, oh, you're going up or taller. This lowers, you know, you know like a little lower effect. And this is all together. Uh, it took a couple of tries, but I managed to, that fun. I'm very proud of that effect. Also, another thing I want to bring up, this evil Sergio, when I did put that effect, it looked too blurry. The quality was too, I don't know what happened, but it was it was so blurry. So I did also, one more time, put one more effect, and it's the sharpness effect. They, to still not to still give it back its sharpness and not make it look too blurry. Um, because it was, it was compressed when I had to put in the right perspective and angle. But uh, yeah, it looks good. His feet are cut off because he's in a crater, according to what you see in the shot. He's inside a deep crater. He's still in the deep crater, and he's just coming out of the deep crater. So I just want to show you this so far. It's not finalized. Maybe I have to touch it up a little bit, sound effects. But it's so far it's so good, and I'm proud of it so far. So it's coming along nicely. As of this recording, I am waiting on some recordings of one more person. Once I get that recording, I'm going to fire in all four cylinders really soon so i'm excited it's coming along really nicely and uh we'll see how this goes and uh so far so good all right that's all for this little production vlog of this scene of this 300th episode of the sergio show so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on social media and all that good stuff again thank you i am sergio dominguez saying have an animated day